In this video, we will take a look at the Baractor Kizalelma drone. We will discuss its technical specifications, engines, control system and weaponry, as well as examine what tasks it can perform and in which areas this drone can be used. Baykar Defense is a Turkish company that specializes in the development and production of unmanned systems such as Baraktar Akinsi, Baraktar Mini UAV, and Baraktar Cats. Founded in 1984, it is today one of the leading manufacturers of unmanned systems in Turkey. It also exports its products to other countries, including Ukraine, Qatar, and Azerbaijan. Baraktar Kizilelma is a single-engine, jet-powered, low-observable, supersonic, medium-sized unmanned fighter created by Baykar Defense. It is one of the most advanced and technologically advanced UAVs in the world. It was developed by Turkish engineers in 2017 and has already earned its reputation as one of the most in-demand and reliable unmanned aerial vehicles in the world. Bayraktar Kizilelma was presented at the 2021 International Defense Exhibition Conference IDF, in Istanbul, Turkey. Bayraktar Kizilelma measures 14.7 meters in length, has a wingspan of 10 meters. A maximum takeoff weight of 6,000 kilograms, and a payload capacity of 1,500 kilograms. Its maximum speed is 900 kilometers per hour, and the cruise speed is 740 kilometers per hour. Additionally, it can fly more than 150 kilometers without intermediate landing and can operate at altitudes up to 11,000 meters, making it suitable for use in various fields, including research, wildlife monitoring, commercial operations, and national security purposes. Moreover, Baraktar Kizilelma can fly at an altitude of up to 12,000 meters and can stay in the air for a longer period than its predecessors, about 5 to 6 hours. Baraktar Kizilelma has a low noise level and works effectively for a long time, making it an ideal choice for extended missions. Additionally, it has high shooting accuracy and can strike targets up to 8 kilometers away. The company stated that Baraktar Kizilelma will have at least three configurations. Modification A, which will appear first and will have the declared speed due to Ukrainian turbofan engines I-25 TLT with a thrust of 16.9 kN. Variant B, which should be later, will have an I-322F engine on board. And the last planned configuration is two such engines. The Baraktar engine was designed to be compact and lightweight, making it ideal for use on small UAV platforms. It is equipped with a fuel injection system that increases fuel efficiency and also provides low emissions. This allows Kizilelma to perform long missions without requiring frequent refueling or maintenance. Baraktar Kizilelma uses a control system that enables an operator to monitor and operate the weapons on board an autonomous aerial vehicle, UAV. This system comprises several components, each of which is essential for efficient operation. One of the key components of the control system is a vigilant operator who is responsible for managing the UAV. They use specialized software and training to perform their job effectively. 
The operator has access to a video stream transmitted from cameras on the UAV and can select targets for engagement and launch missiles. To transmit commands to the operator, a communication system is used. The communication system includes a grounded control station on the ground and an antenna on the UAV. It operates in various frequency ranges, including ultra-short waves or cellular communication, and can transmit commands over distances of up to several hundred kilometers. Finally, the control system also includes software for autonomous operation. This means that the UAV can perform tasks without requiring continuous control from the operator. For example, if the UAV loses communication or contact with the operator, it can continue to perform tasks using pre-programmed routes. Overall, the Bayraktar Kizilelma control system is a wide range of technologies and software that work together to provide full control and operational efficiency for the weapons on board a UAV. The Kizilelma design involves the use of a head optical electronic sight, which is designed for real-time detection and tracking of targets with the help of a high-resolution camera that provides a clear image regardless of lighting conditions. The site also has a laser rangefinder and an infrared receiver. The SOMJ missile is a guided missile with a range of about 250 kilometers and the ability to strike ground targets. The SOMJ can be launched at both high and low altitudes, allowing it to pass through the air defense zone. Additionally, the lightweight guided or unguided MAML missiles are designed to target infantry and lightly armored targets at small and medium distances. Their weight does not exceed 22 kilograms, allowing them to be used on unmanned aerial vehicles. MAMT missiles these missiles are equipped with a thermobaric charge, making them ideal for targeting hidden targets such as tunnels and bunkers. They have a range of about 8 kilometers and can be launched from both altitude and glide. Also Goktagen, Bosdagen, LGK, Tallinn and other types of missiles. The Biraktor Kizilelma weapon is controlled by a communication system that transmits instructions from the ground to the aircraft. This gives the operator full control over the weapon and the ability to react quickly to changing combat situations. Including border monitoring and regional security. The UAV can also perform tasks to monitor terrorist organizations and assist in finding hostages. Moreover, it can be used to manage the aftermath of emergencies such as flooding and earthquakes and to support rescue operations. Bayraktar Kizilelma was developed with the goal of performing missions at maximum distance and with minimal cost, making it a very effective and economical means of ensuring security and performing various tasks. Bayraktar Kizilelma is equipped with different types of cameras and sensors, such as high-resolution electro-optical cameras, high-resolution infrared cameras, laser target designators, laser rangefinders, and a synthetic aperture radar SAR, system that allows it to receive high-quality images and videos from cameras and devices installed on board. Kizilelma also has improved visibility in poor weather conditions. Unlike previous models, it can handle extreme weather conditions such as strong winds and low visibility. It also has the ability to land safely in crosswinds. Bayraktar Kizilelma has a higher payload capacity, making it more efficient for reconnaissance and logistical tasks. It also has even more interesting features. In particular, 
it is capable of conducting various multi-mission missions over long distances. This is possible thanks to the use of modern communication and autopilot systems, which allow the pilot to remotely control the UAV and manage its movement. Moreover, as already mentioned, Bayraktar Kizilelma has high shooting accuracy, particularly on ground targets. This is achieved thanks to the use of special equipment, optical and IR sensors, laser designators, and bombs. And of course, these advantages make Bayraktar Kizilelma an ideal choice for various civil and military tasks. The UAV is used to perform a wide range of missions, such as detection and reconnaissance, monitoring of maritime transportation routes, search and rescue, border zone control, combating transnational crime and terrorism, as well as to conduct operations to ensure national border security. Overall, the Bayraktar Kizilelma UAV is a powerful and multifunctional tool that can be used for various tasks, including surveillance, reconnaissance, and combat operations. Kizilelma is a significant step forward in the development of UAVs, possessing the latest technologies and capabilities. It is one of the best UAVs in the world, which makes it attractive to many states and organizations.